exactly what it says. <laughs> Don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, it's just the Rios. It's gone right now. Well, here I am, still at the uh, the high power AM broadcast site. This is just a uh, this is just 10 kilowatts. This one, um, and uh, this is one end of an Alexanderson antenna. Very old antenna, dates back to 1926. It's one of the original uh, antennas used by um, this particular outfit. And it looks like one of the old antennas that you probably see in these, in these old antenna images where you've got two, uh, you've got two self-supporting towers, one at each end, and then you have a number of wires going across the top. And as usual, I can't see the LCD viewfinder, but it goes all the way along to the other tower. There's six, six parallel wires, and in the middle, they're, uh, they're fed in the middle, and you can see there's a, uh, a cage of six wires that comes down from there, and that goes all the way down to the centre building, which is the one that's got the, uh, the RF energy actually fed into the antenna system. So from the middle one, I'm at one end, and at this end, we've got the, uh, uh, the inductor. There's a coil that goes from another cage, another cage of wires. That cage of wires there goes all the way up, and then it fans out the individual wires, fan out to the individual six wires at the top. And that comes down here, and it goes uh, through that coil uh, to ground. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's the way the, uh, the Alexanderson antenna is, uh, is tuned. We've got a tuning house at each end and uh, the, uh, the matching in the middle. I'll just show you the, uh, the outside where it comes down. There you go, there's the six wires coming down. Six wires coming down in a cage to an insulator and that goes across there to an insulator on top of the little tuning house. And there's the uh, one of the uh, supporting masts in the background. Okay, well I hope you hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching.